Hi everyone, Bernard here on behalf of MovieGameNostalgia.com, I hope you're all well. Right, a little TV drama review, which I was promised if you watch my little little vlogs on what's coming out, etc. And it's something called The Luminaires, a BBC miniseries, six episodes, please. I'm going to have a quick look at that one today. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please push that whole subscribe button, that'd be fantastic. But then push that bell notification, so you know these little vlogs are coming out on TV, dra on dramas, uh, movie reviews, information vlogs, etc. Please tell your friends, and uh, the more the merry, hopefully uh, I entertain a little bit and uh, obviously keep you informed of what's going on in the world. And soon we'll be able to go back to the cinema, won't we? So we'll be starting to look at cinema release information as well, so that's... Uh, Probably from early July I'm recording this, obviously, towards the end of June. And now this Luminaires has just appeared on BBC. It's actually on BBC iPlayer, so you can binge watch it like I did over a couple of nights. Uh, sort of thing I could watch easily in one go, but obviously you have to you have other things to do in life sometimes, don't you, apart from watch telly. Uh, right, yeah, six episodes. It's a British-New Zealand joint effort. And it's based on the Eleanor Cotton 2013 novel, if you read that. And there's something interesting the BBC said in a moment, because we know about BBC and adaptations of, t of books and dramas, don't we? Uh, they get a lot of bit of stick. Yeah, and the story's about uh, a lady called... This, the main, there's two main the two main leads are the females, and obviously there's a few guys in it who uh, have uh, plenty to say, but obviously the two main characters are actually female, which is nice. Obviously, on the cottons, right, and what she knows, she's a female, so that's bound to happen. Uh, it's about a, a lady called Anne Wetherill, um, played by Eve Hooson, very extremely well played as well by Eve Hooson, very well done, and lovely lady, beautiful, who has travelled to start a new life in New Zealand on her own, no man in tow, the South Island's west coast during its 1860s gold rush. Uh, yeah, things don't go quite to plan, which you would expect. Such a Le Miserable, etc. Really does that sort of, you know, a woman trying to just trying to make her way, sort of thing. Uh, it's a tale of love, murder, and revenge, and it certainly is. And even in a bit of courtroom as well. There's a bit of courtroom drama in there as well, just to add to it. Uh, the BBC, as we said before about these adaptations, the BBC covered itself, covered its ass basically, by saying. It is said to be very different to the books. <laughs> so they've said that. So it's funny when I've been reading the reviews, no one's actually commented that it's nothing like the book. But someone actually did say it might be, you know, if you've read the book, you might have a better view of it. So I don't know. But uh, the BBC covered its options there by saying it's uh, very different to the book, which is fair enough. I've not read the book. Would I go back and read the book? Probably would, actually. I'd, I'd get it on audiobook or something based on what I've seen with uh, this mini series. As well as uh, Eve Hewson, it also stars Eva Green, another superb performance, another beautiful lady. Uh, Himesh Patel, Ewan Leslie and Martin Kusoskas, so how you pronounce, pronounce that, C-S-O-K-A-S. And it beautifully filmed in, in all over, it's actually filmed all over New Zealand as well, which is nice. It's nice to be filmed in the country that it's based around. Uh, is it any good? Well, yeah, Rotten Tomatoes. There's not many, not many views out there at the moment. There's no, no public reviews, etc., etc. It's quite early doors. I mean, within a couple of weeks from now, obviously, there'll be, there'll be loads of stuff out there. I'm not too much at the moment. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, with the critics, it's got an 80% positivity rating. So that means, obviously, 80% of the critics scored it's six or more, obviously. So that's, so that's a pretty good rating. Internet Movie Database, that's Joe Public who managed to see it. Um, obviously, this is yesterday, so I'm sort of recording this on the 25th of June, so I was at the 24th of June when I, when I did my little script here. Uh, the Internet Movie Database was 6.3 out of 10, which is okay, not brilliant, 6.3 out of 10. That was based on 512 people leaving a score. Some of the pros, some of the, some of the positives, uh, just reading through them. I'll go through each one in, in my MGN review in a moment. Some of the positives, gorgeous, excellent, a classic, gets better, moody and intriguing and some of the negatives hard to follow beautiful but a failure dull a mess confusing and a missed opportunity so i mean yeah i must admit i did even though i got a healthy score of 6.3 out of 10 there was, there's a lot more negativity on the actual written reviews which what there wasn't too many of those probably about 10 or 15 
So my little look at it, let's have a look at it. MovieGameNostalgia.com. Let's look at the positives first. Gorgeous, absolutely superb. I mean, it does it in the same way that Lord of the Rings makes you want to go and visit New Zealand. Um, obviously, this doesn't do any harm to the for the New Zealand tourist board. I have a beautiful place, absolutely fantastic. Someone called it a classic. No, we're not, we're not going to go this far. It's not a classic. It's 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 nice to have something of this of this ilk of this genre, not based in you know Georgian England or whatever part Victorian England. It's always nice to see things. I love I love watching things in based in Australia or even America in the eighteen hundreds stuff like that when things were rough and ready. I love I love I love these sort of things. So yeah, it's not a classic. Uh, gets better. I mean, I'd have to disagree with that. I actually thought it got weaker as it went along. I actually enjoyed the early part of these six episodes more than the, the latter part. Unfortunately, I got you know it brings us to one of the criticisms in a minute. Uh, moody and intriguing. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, there's a lot of complaints about the darkness in these series. A lot of play, you know, it was wasn't very people had to turn the brightness up. Well, perhaps, you know, you, perhaps your brightness is set wrong in the first place. But I mean, it's. 1860s is all candle lit so I think it's for atmosphere etc and I've certainly seen a lot worse things it didn't make me think oh god I can't see what's going on so so just just check just check your lighting on your TV just check your menu so you see what your brightness is like and your contrasts get that sorted right yes hard to follow absolutely I can't disagree with that it is I'll go a bit bit on that in a minute dull well as I said I wasn't overly as impressed with the last say a couple of episodes compared to the first three or four. A missed opportunity? Well, they did okay with it. Yeah, I mean, you know, could it have been better? Yeah, of course it could have been better, but uh, it's still okay. It's still okay for what it is. So generally, just looking at it, I mean, it's a superb cast. I mean, all all the very few uh, people didn't, you know, sort of didn't punch the weight in this. The the acting was superb, as I said, led, led superbly by the beautiful Eve Hewson and Eva Green. I mean, what more could you ask? I mean, I could watch those two ladies all night, to be honest with you, not in their mind six episodes, but uh, they led it superbly. Uh, yeah, and obviously the six episodes, yeah, perhaps one too long, perhaps a couple too long at a pinch, perhaps four or five episodes may have been a bit better. I mean, the problem is it, the, prob the main problem with it was... Um, and I think someone mentioned it before. It was said it was confusing and a mess, and it's the flashbacks. I mean, you do the actual events only take place over a few days, so you've got flashbacks where the characters themselves don't really look any different to each other. But you're going from back, you know, you sort of can suss it out, but you can't afford to sort of take your eyes off the screen to, and you know to try and catch up with what's going on. So it does overdo the flashbacks, and in this case, I don't think it really works. In some films, it works. Some TV dramas, it works. I don't think it really works. Someone asked for dates as well. You shouldn't need to... If you start needing to put dates on them, then it's not doing its job, is it? But, uh, yeah, I did think the flashbacks were a pain. And for atmosphere, obviously, there's a lot of, like, dreams... Some dream sequences as well, which are obviously opium-related. Opium's obviously a big drug at this, this time. But uh, there's a couple of dream sequences that don't really add anything to it. I mean, they're quite atmospheric, but uh, they don't really add anything to the story. So... That with that with the uh, flashbacks is a little little confusion, uh, confusing. But as I said before, I love these things set in the eighteen hundreds. Obviously, obviously in, in different countries, and I love stuff about Australia. And it's lovely to see a New Zealand thing. And you obviously get a Maori element, which is always very interesting as well. Um, but the longer it went on, you did need to concentrate a little bit more. I mean, the actual. Uh, Final episode is basically about half of it. Half of it is obviously goes through like a courtroom thriller sort of thing. But you know, it does finish off. You do get everything explained to you. You've lost anything on the way, and there's a chance you may lose certain eyes, some some things on the way, and get confused as to who's who's alive and who's dead. Sometimes it does get a bit conf confusing. But uh, yeah, I mean that that is a little bit of a criticism. Say with six episodes, it was drawn out as well. I think I think it was tighter at four or five episodes. You might not have lost track as, as such, and you perhaps wanted you wanted done it as a more this flashback thing. So that's interesting. But uh, yeah, the longer it went on, I, I thought it so. I've lacked a little bit as it went on. Uh, no one's complained about whether it's historically correct or not. I don't care with these period things. I mean, if it's entertaining, that's all I want to know. I'm not if I want to know about. Uh, the 1860 gold rush in New Zealand and how men, how men and Chinese and women were, were treated. Then I'll, I'll watch a documentary or I'll read a book, you know. So, as far as entertainment, yeah, I mean, it sort of hits the spot. 
So my little review, my movie game nostalgia review. Well, yeah, I'm not going to go mad over it. As I said, I would probably edge in towards the seven mark, uh, the first early episodes. But as I say, a little bit disappointed. As I said, I did get a little bit confused. And uh, you can't be on your phone messing about, which I tend to do sometimes when I'm watching something because I've got other things to do. I can do work on my phone and watch something as well, which, you know, there's not enough hours in the day just to sit and dedicate, dedicate myself to watching something. So, yeah, it can be a little bit confusing. If you if you do watch and concentrate, then you, you should be okay. But again, it's still, still quite hard to to follow so i'm going to give it an overall rate i'm going to be quite close to the internet movie database uh, score of 6.3 i was going to give it a six which is my basic watchable but i'll give it a 6.5 i think it's worth that for an effort just for just for the the fact of the two ladies eve the two even either absolutely fantastic they sort of made it for me anyway anyway please let me know in the comments what you think if you if you watch the lumina as i said it's it's now available on iplayer so if it's if you're outside of the uk just check your any subscription service that does bbc stuff obviously and uh, it should be available somewhere and it's still showing i think on bbc on a weekly basis as well so you can still watch that as at the 25th of june it's still i think you've got three or four episodes to run so that's the luminaries the bbc miniseries six episodes anyway, thanks for watching please uh Follow me on my little Twitter accounts, they'll be on the screen or at the side now, and I'm on Facebook at Burn Deneen. And obviously if you can check out my little website, moviegamenostalgia.com, that'd be much appreciated. I'll stick that address on there just to remind you as well for old rare DVDs, movie posters from the 1990s and 2000s and some board games. Anyway, that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments if you do get to watch it and what you think. Anyway, thanks for watching today. What we're going to do with this today, have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends. Look after your family, let's all look after each other and hopefully you'll join me again very very soon for another little film, movie, TV, drama review or information vlog. This is Bernard saying goodbye for now. Thanks for watching.